Now, many of you will say that this watch is far too much of an homage. And I would actually agree with you to some degree, but then where do you draw the line? If we were to put this watch that we're reviewing today side by side with the infinite amount of Submariner Rolex homages out there, and God knows what else has been homaged, you would say, well, yes, that is very similar to the Submariner, but I'll let it slide. Why do we let it slide? Why can't other people come up with an homage, one that's not been done to death, such as what Octopus Kraken have done, an homage a quirky Oris bronze watch, without people saying, no, it's far too much like an Oris. Where do we draw the line? Are we starting to get snobby with homage watches? I don't think we are. I just think we're so used to seeing Submariner homages and all the other ones that we sort of let it, we do let it slide and we just move on from it and just go, oh, it's fine. I just want to know how good the build quality is and do I get ceramic and sapphire and no sharp edges and it doesn't fall to bits when I put it on. That's what we kind of look at. But then someone else comes along and goes, well, yeah, yes, I'm going to make a really nicely finished bronze watch with a PT5000 movement and it's going to look very similar to a Swiss watch, which costs very much more. And people start to go, hang on a minute, that's a bit too much like that one. I would say, what's going on? Before we get too much into that, that's all down to personal opinion. What you're gonna to need to do objectively, is this watch any good? And that's primarily what I'm gonna try and cover in this review, and we're gonna move on to that now. Here are the stats and specs. Then we're gonna get down to the uh, nitty gritty of things I've noticed about it that you need to know about. See you in a moment. So the Octopus Kraken Large Pilot Watch, not large, luxury. So I've got my notes here. I can't even read my own blooming writing. Obviously paying, I must get the elephant in the room out of the way. How strongly is this paying homage to a well-known Swiss watch? Rhymes with Boris. What we're going to start with is the things I've disliked immediately. And I'll get this beautiful stand out of the way. I'm going to start while I'm here undoing it is this leather strap. It's too thick and almost immediately starts to sort of degrade a bit. It's not damaged or getting knackered. This, uh, that is the appropriate word to use. Just not great. It's just too thick. Look at this. That is thicker than the lugs. As a strap seller and strap expert, I'd like to believe uh, that is just not what I'm looking for. And the downside to that thickness is, uh, I am a strong man. I'd like to think and that is quite hard to bend. Uh, it's too stiff and too thick for a leather strap. I do like the fact it's got quick release though, but that's a whole other story. PT5000 in here. Some of you may not be fans. I'm okay with them because I've had mainly uh, now a bit of time generally positive. I've had one negative experience, but the thing I don't like, and that's with all of them, I've had enough experience with them, is that relatively heavy feeling um, hand winding. That's just the one thing, and that is normal. They do get lighter over time when they bed in a bit, but they're still, for me, relatively heavy. I don't like the ghost date position. Don't like that. It's pointless and it's still running okay. It's about plus five, plus six a day, I found, and that's still with intolerances. I don't like this large logo. It's massive, octopus kraken. It's basically talking about a multiple-legged um, sea creature twice, octopus and kraken. Uh, it's either one or the other. An octopus is different to a kraken. Is a kraken a giant octopus, or is it a giant squid, or is it some other kind of mythical creature? And the watch itself is ever so slightly too big. I think it could be a little bit more elegant, uh, this is a 40. I think it could be a 38 slash 39. Uh, that would just help slim it down just about right to be, for me, hitting that sweet spot for this type of design. But now, guys, it's time to start talking about the positives because the positives do outweigh the negatives overall for this beautiful piece. I'm going to blast through them now. So let's get on with it. Bronze. I love it. This is not too heavy for a bronze watch. You get a nice bit of patina developed slowly over time. You can accelerate it using ammonia or eggs and things like that if you want to, but I think it's nice to let it age gracefully, unlike me. And then you can end up with a beautiful, slightly darker finish. And it just will work beautifully with these more darker, earthier tones, like the wine red you get in the dial and the dark brown strap. Overall, this watch will age and patina beautifully. That is a positive. Next is the loom. 
Boltony watches, Octopus Kraken, my experience with their watches so far is they're really good at their loom. It lasts pretty well and it's definitely good looking and it's smooth application to the hands and the indices means it lasts nicely. It looks good. It looks like a quality product. It's really comfortable. It conforms nicely. It fits on the wrist nicely. It doesn't knock about on your wrist. It's not top heavy or anything. It is a comfortable watch. The fit and finish, I can't find any quality control issues. The hands are beautifully polished, gorgeous finishing on there. No fluff, no dust under the dial, which is for me a big bugbear. There's nothing there. I do like the brushing. It's so neatly done. You'll see some macros. Really neat and smooth. And the polished elements are subtle. You get a little bit of a polished edge on this bezel where it meets with the case here on the mid case. And then you've got the polished crown. Looks really smooth. You know what's nice as well? Just while we're here, this detail on the screw case back. This is stainless steel polished with a obviously gorgeous exhibition. So you can see that PT5000. But I like, look at this, the coin edge on here matching the other side, the coin edge on there. I just like that. Really nice detail. So yeah, overall fit and finish is superb. Again, purely because it's of who it's homaging, I do like cathedral hands. Some people say snake hands, but I think, correct me if I'm wrong, it's deemed cathedral because that looks like the uh, top of a cathedral. I don't know. But I do like the hands. They are very smart and very well done. And same with the mini track. I just think it makes it easier to read. It's a bit like a vintage pilot watch. I think it's effectively what it's trying to be. And it just makes this so clear, easy and legible to enjoy looking at and just quick glance and you can check the time. The big crown is lovely. If you want to hand wind the watch and do it carefully because these PT5000s are a bit delicate. So you don't want to overwind them. But it's so easy to do. Lovely big crown, really easy. And it screws in very nicely. But is it? Look at that crown, it's huge. I like the logo, that's quite cool. So overall, I think it is good looking. But if I was to choose any colour dial, I wouldn't actually have gone for the wine red. I don't like the red as much as I do. Maybe the green. I would have liked to maybe soft dark grey or something like that. But they do a black and I just think that works so well. Contrasts really well with the bronze, but green definitely works with bronze. But red, I think it can work, but it just makes strap choices a little bit trickier in my opinion. So instead of complaining about this standard strap, I thought I'd offer you some solutions. It's appropriate time for me to do a bit of promotion, off the cuff straps, that's my watch strap business. And here's just two I've plucked out of my multitude of offerings, which I think are gonna pair beautifully with this watch. Reason being, I think Octopus Kraken's done a great job with the color of this watch, but as you can see, the quality of the strap is not very good in my opinion. As you can see, it's already looking scruffy and that is from just a few days of wearing it on this strap. I do not get that kind of wear and degradation on my straps. I wanted straps that had the right size bits and bobs here in the hardware, which are gonna allow for this hardware to be transferred onto it. So you still have the bronze buckle. So that's what we're gonna keep. Let's move on to that now. First one we're gonna put on is this one. This is the Crazy Horse with quick release pins. And this is in the dark brown. Crazy Horse leather is lovely because it's soft and supple. And as it ages, it just has a lovely texture to it. And it ages gracefully, I would say. You do get a bit of patinering and discoloration as it bends, but it doesn't look like it's deteriorating. Let's get this on the watch. I'll show you why it works. As you can see, this works because it's similar color to the other brown, but I think brown works with the earthy colors you've got going on here. The patinering bronze and then the wine red dial complement and works so well with a dark chocolate or coffee colored uh, leather watch strap. Really nice. And the stitching contrasts and works really well with the color of the hands and the indices. We've got another one here, more vintage style. This is called the Vintage, and it's again made out of the Crazy Horse leather. So let's try it out on that one and see what you think. As you can see, contrasting catch stitch on the uh, upper part of the straps here near the, where the spring bars are. Chocolate brown Crazy Horse leather. Not too thick, and it's got the sealed edges, so that adds for durability. It doesn't get any of that degrading you can get on the edges, and it will patina so beautifully and nicely with the bronze as well. So it's a kind of watch which is going to look vintage as time goes by. So in summary, Octopus Kraken, it's a great watch. Well made, good specification, quirky colours. Bronze is a fun material to work with it because you get that lovely ageing and patina. And that's something you can either hurry on with a bit of egg or ammonia or something like that, or you can just enjoy it age with you over time. Uh, won't age as gracefully as me, of course, but uh, this is a watch at the end of the day and it's something fun to add to the collection. How unusual to have an Oris homage. Too close maybe for some of you, but for many of you, it may be totally acceptable. And for the money, it's a great spec piece and you can enjoy it and just go, you know what? I've got something that looks like a 1400 quid watch that costs me between two and 300 pounds. I can just enjoy it and just like having something like this in the collection. Speaking of collection, I have a huge collection of videos which I have spent a long time making and I hope you enjoy them. Please check them out. 
If not, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.